Good morning. Good morning. Come on, let's give God a hand of praise for those yeah. that are here. We lift our God this morning. We One thank motion. God for allowing us to be here again in worship. And those that are on Facebook and those that are on the YouTube and all of those social media outlets, we welcome you to the Friendship Baptist Church here in Seaside, California. Amen. Amen. Well, we intend on having invigorating worship and impactful preaching this morning. And we ask that you will sit in and join with us and hit that like button, subscribe on Facebook and, and share that message on Facebook. We wanna welcome you and we thank God in this pandemic, we still can praise our God with the best we have, with what we have. Come on, let's give God praise. So come on into our worship experience. Come on, you can do better than that. Come on into our worship experience. And the Lord tells us where two or three are gathered in there. his name, yes, there will he right be in the there, midst. Man. So we invite you again yes, to share in worship with us today. And yes. we ask God be with you and have blessings on you and your household on today. We thank God that our thank pastor you, is back preaching again on yes, this sir. Sunday. And he has a word for us Come on, that will impact our lives yes. for the living out of our days. Yes. God bless you. And we now will go into our worship hour. Amen. Help me. Help me sing, church. Glory, glory. Help me, church. A hallelujah. Uh -huh. Since I lay my burdens down, my burdens down, I say, glory, glory. Uh -huh. A hallelujah. Well, since I lay my burdens down, my burdens down, I say glory, glory, mm -hmm. a hallelujah, uh -huh. since I lay my burdens down. My burdens down, I say glory, glory, mm -hmm. a hallelujah. Since I lay my burdens, I feel better. Well, I say I feel better. Uh -huh. So much better mm -hmm. since I lay my burdens down, my burdens down. I say I feel better. Uh -huh. So much better since I lay. My burdens down, my burdens down. I say, I feel better. Uh, come on, church. So much better mm -hmm. since I live. My burdens down, my burdens down. I say, I feel better. Uh -huh. So much better mm -hmm. since I lay my burdens down. Hey, glory! Well, I say glory, glory, uh -huh. a hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Since I lay. My burdens down, my burdens down. I say, glory, glory, mm -hmm. a hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Since I lay my burdens down, my friend, they ain't the same. I say, friends don't treat me. Uh -huh. I like they used to. Mm -hmm. 
since I laid my burdens down, my burdens down. I say, friends don't treat me uh, like they used to. Mm-mm. Since I laid my burdens down, burdens down. Well, I say, burdens down, Lord. Uh-huh. My burdens down, Lord. Since I lay my burdens down, my burdens down. I say, burdens down, Lord. Mm-hmm. Burdens down, Lord. Since I lay my burden every round, where I say every round goes, yes sir, higher and higher. Mm. Since I lay my burdens down, my burdens down. I say every round go uh, higher and higher mm-hmm. since I That's all right, church. Help me. Father God, through the virgin birth, Father God, for mankind, Father God. Lord God, we thank you for Jesus who died out on Calvary's cross, Father God. Lord God, we thank you for the blood that he, that he shed it just for us, Father. And Lord God, here we are this morning, Father God, not because of what we've done, but because of who you are and what you did, Father God. Yeah. You woke us up this morning, Father God, yeah. closing our right mind because it was you during our last night's sleep. You watched over us and you kept us, Father God. You kept us from all harm and danger. And then, Lord God, you gave us... You, you, you allowed us to get on these highways and, and these byways, Father God, to come into your house of prayer and worship this one more time. And, Lord God, I don't know about nobody else, but I don't take this for granted, Father God, because you could have called me home last night, Father God, but you gave me one more opportunity, Lord God. So I come this morning, Lord God. I pray we all came this morning, Father God, to, to lift you up and just to tell you thank you and to tell you that, 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 that we love you, Lord God, because you first loved us, Father God. Oh, Lord God, we thank you for the friendship family. We pray right now in the name of Jesus that, Lord God, wherever we may be, Father God, wherever we may be, we ask that you would be with us, Father God, and keep us in a, in a hold us together, Father God, in your love, Father God. Continue to bless, doc, bless Dr. Dunham as he continue to lead us, your people, to a closer walk with you. We thank you, Lord God, for his light, for his guidance. We thank you, Lord God, for his, his love. We thank you, Lord God, for his preaching. But most of all, Lord God, we thank you for his teaching, Father God. We thank you for the word that you have given him to give us your people, Father God. We thank you for these preachers who, who preached all month long last month, Father God. Allowed him to rest, Father God. Oh, Lord God, continue to watch over them and to keep them in their families, Father God. And then, Lord God, so many are sick. So many are sick, Father God. I ask right now in the name of Jesus, Father, that you will watch over my brother. Watch over his wife, Father God. Give them comfort, Lord God, for they got the virus, Father God. But I want them to know that you got them, Father God. Just keep them as only you know how. And then bless my auntie, Lord God, who, who lost her husband over 40 years of marriage, Father God. Ease her trouble in the heart, Father God. Fix her broken heart, Father God. Give her the comfort that she so much she needs, Father God. And then, Lord God, as the man of God, stand and preach your, your word today. We ask right now in Jesus' name that you will let priest come on down, Father God, and speak to him that he may speak to your people. We thank you right now, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father God, we celebrate today. We celebrate today his death, burial, but most of all, Father God, he is getting up, Father God. We thank you right now, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, uh, he who died but yet still lives, we tell you thank you, thank you, thank you and amen. 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 It's so good to be in the house of the Lord just one more time, y'all. It's good to be in the house of the Lord just one more time. 
Amen. Let's hear our pastor as he come and give him a hand. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory yes, for the things he has done. He has done and is doing great things for us. We can say hallelujah to our officers, ministers, and mothers. We're grateful uh, to be here just this one more time. Welcome to one and all. Welcome to our worship experience. We pray that you came with your mind determined that God is real. Uh, we pray that you've determined that God uh, wants to save you. We want to give you that opportunity after the word has been preached. We now will hear from our announcing clerk, Deaconess Seward. Allow her to come. Give her a hand as she comes and presents us our announcements. First, giving glory and honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Respect to the pastor, Bless. to the ministers, to Sister Donna, to the officers, and to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, good morning. Thank you for tuning in this morning. These are your announcements for the week of December the 6th, 2020. On Tuesday, December the 8th, the mission department will meet at 6 p.m. The Brotherhood will have their meeting at 7 p.m. on Zoom and on our conference call line. Amen. On Wednesday, December the 9th, we will have our pastor's insight in the word Bible study. And that will be at 7 p.m. on Facebook, Zoom, and on conference call line. On Thursday, December the 10th, we will have our SOS, Saints Offering Supplication, mm. prayer line. And that will be at 7 p.m. on conference call line. Amen. On Friday, December the 11th, we will have our pastor's hour at 7 p.m. on Facebook, Zoom, and on conference call line. <clears throat> Please plan to attend your meetings throughout this week by tuning in on Facebook, Zoom, or YouTube. Or you can call the conference call line, and that number is 831-318-0321. Yeah. These are your announcements for the week of December the 6th, 2020. Thank you, and may God bless each of you. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Deaconess. See what? Now we will have an amendment by our own sister Huntley. Allow her to come, give her your attention, please. First giving all praises to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, respect to Dr. Dunham, Bless to the ministers, sister. to the officers, to Sister Dunham, each one of you. Good morning. Good morning. I'm standing here, we just, um, we're just excited and glad that mm. even though we're in these um, unprecedented times, they call for unprecedented measures. Yes, sir. So this year, uh, through the pastor's guidance, we are going to have what I call a hybrid Christmas program. Amen. So Amen. I, what I've done, I've reached out to the children and youth department. Amen. And I've sent, if I sent you a, a part, a speech, or I've asked you for a, a musical solo or, or whatever it is, I need those videos back by this week. Amen. I need those this week so that we can prepare. And um, also, um, I reached out the, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, ages that I reached out to, it doesn't stop there. If you're a right. young adult, adult right. or a senior, and you want to participate, reach out to me and let me know. And I'd like to thank also Sister, um, Sister Michi Wright and Sister Monica Dunham, Amen. because this is a combined effort. This yes, is the sir. first time we're doing this. Yes, so you need to pray for us that, what, that the Lord will bless us. We just want to give back to God what he, like he's yes, given sir. us. He gave us his very best, and we want to yes, give sir. back yes, our sir. very best. So please bring, get your videos either to myself or Sister Wright, however you want to do it, it's fine, but we need those this week so we can put it together if we don't get it. I can't say that you'll be on program, right. but we will have some live and some video, so we're just going to uh, just do the best we can for our Lord and Savior Amen. Jesus Christ. God bless you and thank you. Yes, sir. Come on, put it together. Thank God for Sister Huntley. We are excited about that hybrid service. We are anticipating carrying on in these um, crisis times. Don't stop having church. 
just adapt to the circumstances. And I thank God for friendship, for their ability to, to move along with, with the program as time uh, requires us to do so. It's strange, it's different, but I'm thank God that it's real. Amen. Amen. I know that it's real to me. I said, I know that it's real to me. And so I thank God for, let me thank our preachers for preaching all of November. Give them a big hand. They blessed me, allowed me to, to sit down and uh, rest this old man body for a while. And I thank God for, for them allowing me to do that. Truly, you guys really blessed me, and I thank you for that. Love you for it. Uh, right now, I'm going to ask all of the parents that Sister Huntley has, has, uh, has contacted, children and youth that she's contacted, that you would invest time in helping them learn those speeches uh, verbatim. Help them to uh, um, do a, uh, I guess, a video, upload a video that we can, something that the church can be, be proud of, that we are working even in this time that we're trying to help them learn something uh, by, about our God. And so please work with them. They, they can learn it. If you push them, they can learn it. So please help them. Amen? We want now to prepare ourselves for prayer. So many that stand in the need of prayer, our own musician is unable to be here because of COVID. He doesn't have it, but his coworker tested positive. And I, I appreciate the fact that he wouldn't want to uh, see if he brought that um, to us. And so we thank God for, for him, and we're gonna pray for him. Pray for Brother Tim Dreyer. This is one of our distance uh, Dreyer family. This is our brother. Pray for Sister Jasmine Brinson, Brinson in Sacramento, Brother Demetrius Cotino, Deacon Chester Huddleston, Sister Lisa Jackson, Sister Brenda Johnson, Brother Benjamin Lee, the Morgan family of Arkansas, Sister Jessica Sharp, and bro Brother Josh Stewart. We're going to ask us to stand and prepare our hearts as we make ready for altar prayer. Amen. Amen. Reverend Garrett, make your, get your heart ready to pray. I need the
we are again in the Me end of December. Yes, sir. In uh, almost the close of another year. Lord, when we started out, we didn't realize, oh God, that this year would be as rocky as it has been. But we come before an awesome God. Come this morning as humble as we know how. Bow down before your throne of grace and mercy. We realize, God, that we are sinners that have been saved by your grace. We ask now for forgiveness of our sins, our transgressions. We come this morning to tell you thank you. Thank you. Lord, we don't have regrets. We don't have doubts. But we come telling you thank you for every mountain. Thank you for every valley. Thank you for every stop sign. Thank you for every yield sign. Thank you for every roadblock. For we realize that nothing can transpire uh, without your okay. We come this morning, even in a pandemic hour, we come with a pandemic praise. Hallelujah. For truly, you are worthy. Hallelujah. There is nobody like you. Yeah. Lord, you've been better to us than we've been better to ourselves. Yeah. And we come with a hallelujah this morning. Lord, we know that we are unworthy this morning. Yes, sir. But we bow down before a worthy God. Knowing, God, if you did not keep us on last night, that we would not have been kept. And we come to tell you thank you. We come to tell you we haven't given up on our praise, God. We come to tell you we haven't given up on our worship, God. Because truly you are worthy to be praised. And we found out this morning the better we praise God, the better we feel about our yeah, situation. Yeah. Sometimes we are burdened, uh, but if we learn how to praise you, oh God, uh, yeah. our burden gets lighter. Sometimes we are broken, uh, but if we learn how to praise you uh, in our brokenness, uh, things are getting better. Uh, Things will feel better. Yeah. We got better outlook because you've been blessing us yeah. day in and day out. And yeah. we tell you, thank you. Thank uh, you. If they don't come up with a vaccine, God, yeah. uh, we know we got the blood of Jesus uh, yeah. that runs from our head to our toe. Uh, if we don't get the vaccine, oh God, uh, we still trusting in you, oh God. Uh, we ask now, oh God. God, uh, that you will give us what we need, oh God. Uh, some are sick, oh God. Uh, be a doctor, oh God. Uh, some are lonely, oh God. Uh, be a company keeper, oh God. Uh, some need a job, oh God. Uh, be an employer, oh God. Uh, some are hungry this morning, oh God. Uh, feed the hungry this morning, oh God. Uh, have mercy, oh God. Uh, give us a worship experience, oh God. Send your holy power uh, that we will be infused. Uh, send your word, oh God, uh, that we will be chained. Uh, keep us uh, when nothing else can keep us. Uh, have mercy now uh, on the nation, oh God. Uh, have mercy now uh, on the White House, oh God, have mercy now on the Senate, oh God, have mercy now on the Congress, oh God, have mercy now on the church, oh God, have mercy now on the preacher, oh God, have mercy now on everyone, have mercy now on the sinner, oh God, we need you, God, right now, oh God, have mercy. We thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank You've been there when no one else was there. Keep us. Please, sir. Touch 
this man of God. Please stop. Bless this church. Oh God. Bless those that are COVID ridden. Oh, have mercy. Relieve Please, Jesus. the frontline workers. Please, Jesus. Protect them. Please, Jesus. Raise up those that have been affected. And then keep on keeping us of those that are walking around. We may be infected now, but it's nothing but your grace. We thank you in advance. Thank you. We give you the praise this morning. We give you the worship this morning. You are worth everything to us. Lift our bow down heads. Sometimes we are perplexed by our situations, but God, we have not been left alone. Hallelujah. We are perplexed on every side. But thank you, God, we are not cast down. Thank you that you haven't forgotten thank us. You. We ask you now Hallelujah. for favor. Yes. Let your will be done. Yes, sir. Whatever it is, we know it's working out yes. for our good. Hallelujah. We know, God, Hallelujah. that everything, everything is working out. We know, God. The good, the bad, the ugly, the wrong, the right is working out for our good. Thank you in advance. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. We pray today. We give you praise and glory. We clap our hands. We surrender and we say hallelujah to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God. I feel better. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, I feel better. I feel better now since I lay my, my burdens down. Thank Reverend Garrett. Thank you, uh, church family. We want now to receive our tithe, the Lord's tithes and our offering. Thank all that have uh, sent their tithes by way of uh, Givelify and PayPal, those that have dropped off the Lord tithe, those partners that have uh, connected with us across the country. Thank you so much. Amen. Mother Melva Anderson, Sister Betty Coates, Deacon Jason Dennis, Sister Myrtle Duffel, Brother Dimitri Dunn and family, Sister Virginia Galisti, Brother Leroy and Sister Peace Hamilton, Sister Donna Marks, Brother Mel and Sister Regina Mason, Brother Rick and Sister Lori Medina, Brother Gabe and Sister Nicole Riley, Deacon Orion and Deaconess Ruby Sutton, Sister Deborah Williams, Deacon Edward Wilson, and Reverend Joel Young. Thank you so much, brother officers. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Father God, we thank you for the gift. May this offering be for the upbuilding of your kingdom as you see fit. Father God, if it be in your will, we love you and we thank you for just letting us give you something, Father God. Father God, we thank you for just the blessing of just having something, Father God, to offer up to you, Father God. We yes. love you and we thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Yes. And all these things. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Again, to the officers, ministers, and mothers, each of you, my father's children, thank you for sharing this time um, for this morning as we prepare for the blessing by way of the preach word. I want everyone, whatsoever form of media, social media, whether you're here, please stand and hold up your Bible. Again, we want to dedicate ourselves to the word of our God. And notice every time that they have a classroom or any type of city uh, function, they pledge allegiance to the flag. We, we pledge our allegiance to the Bible. In fact, this is our Bible. Please repeat after me. This is my Bible. God's holy word. I believe every word of God's Bible. I believe what it says about God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I believe what it says about me. And I believe what it says about my salvation. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word, and will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path and will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. Thank you so much. Please help me lift up an old uh, Dr. Watts. Shine on me, Lord, shine on me. Let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. Come on, church. From the light out shine on I heard the Thank you, Lord. Read one line, line down, line the church oh, on me Lord shine 
Father, we thank you today for all of your many blessings. We thank you today for your tender mercies. We pray, Master, that thou wouldst speak to us and through us, that your people will be edified, that, Father, that some sinner will be convicted. Open blinded eyes today, set captives free. Let your word perform. Go forth and work miracles in lives. Bring joy in the midst of sorrow. We pray that you'll lift every bow down head and you will set the captive free. Your word, Master. We place high value upon your word. Have your way now. We'll give you glory, honor, and prayer. Praise in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father. Amen and amen. Learn from the light God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Thank you. This morning, we want to turn to the gospel of St. Luke. Very familiar passage of scripture. I preached it 10 years ago. Amen. But it has application. Even right now. Luke 17th chapter. We would like to begin reading verse number 11. And it came to pass, as they went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go shew yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And, 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 and one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? They are not found that return to give glory to God, except save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. Thank you. Amen. So reads the word of God. I would like to just share from that topic the thought. Where? Where? Where are the nine? Where are the, where are the nine? I've discovered that gratitude goes a long way. A thankful heart makes room to receive greater goods. All too often we're like that poor widow woman when the king had saved her life one day and afterwards every day she sat at his gate with expressions of gratitude with tears in her eyes, she would shout out, I can never begin to pay him for the debt that I owe him. One day the king in his chariot passed by her house and he saw in her garden a tree bearing luscious fruit. And the king wanted to taste the sweetness of the fruit. So he sent his servant 
with the request that the king be given some of the fruit that he might enjoy. And she replied, she didn't have enough for him. All she had was for herself. Really, she just was showing her expressions of gratitude was not serious. They were not sincere. Our gratitude needs to be sincere, genuine. I don't like nobody that don't know how to say thank you. It's easy to forget about uh, what God has done for you when God brought you so far. As a people, we thank God more when we had less. I remember when we prayed about having another pair of shoes. I can remember when we prayed about having another suit. But because God abundantly blessed us, we've done forgot how to say, Lord, I thank you. Two, two words that seem so small. It's just, but it has a, a great impact for your future. Learn, brothers and sisters, learn how to be thankful. Learn how to appreciate God for the little things. Don't complain about what you don't have. But learn how to say thank you for what you, what you do have. Consider the, the, the many marvels of salvation. We are recipients, brothers and sisters, of too many blessings that our Lord and Savior has bestowed upon us. Jesus has showered upon us the riches from glory, blanketed us with his bountiful beauty. Our hearts are filled with the glory of our God. Our minds have been caught up in the magnitude of grace and mercy shown upon us. We've been blessed beyond measures, my brothers and sisters. Our tables are filled, fed from, uh, from the manna from on high. Our lives have been blessed. Our futures have been promised and Secured our walk, have been filled with joy. We walk by faith and not by sight. Our steps have been ordered by the Lord. Goodness and mercy follow us all day long. We got to learn how to say thank you. Come to, the, come to this reality that no matter what, you have an obligation to just tell the Lord thank you. Tell him thank you. you. You may be broke, busted, and disgusted, but you still ought to say thank you. The cross of life may have you weighted down, but you still got to say thank you. Nighttime can be the hardest time. Daytime can be the worst of time. But master, thank you. There's never a time in our life that we ought not tell the Lord thank you. Down to my last dime. But God, I thank you. I, I, I might be oppressed, depressed, and in distress, but Lord, I thank you. There's not one single time I cannot say, Lord, I thank you. you, 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 you we made it where we are now because he made a way. Where are the nine? My question is, where are the nine? I know I'm one, but where are the nine. God has been extremely good to us. God deserves our greatest level of appreciation. If there's anyone we owe the credit to, if there's anyone we owe adoration, if there's anyone we owe appreciation, it is God. It is God who has blessed us time and time again. It is God who has picked us up, turned us around, it is God who has answered our prayers and made a way out of no way. We ought to demonstrate how we appreciate our God for all of the many blessings that we have received, received from him. I wish I had the other nine with me on this morning. 
who can shout, Lord, I thank you. We have here the account of the cure of the ten lepers. We know that Jesus was moving between cities, traveling uh, from Samaria and Galilee. Went through Galilee on his way to, through Samaria. While the Lord set out from Capernaum, he navigated the small villages and went through the small town preaching, teaching, and healing all manner of sickness. You know how Jesus is. Wherever he is, he going to do some good. And the text says, there met him. That's, that's, that's my first point. They came to Jesus. They, I said they came to Jesus. There was a deliberate measure on their part to make their way to Jesus. This, this, this word in the Greek uh, really says two opposite people from two opposite directions converge going in the same and landing at the same point, winding up together. In other words, while Jesus was on his way, they heard about what he did with other people. And they realized, being lepers, there were certain things they couldn't do. And so they met him deliberately. This, this was not by accident. They met him in order to be changed. They met him. Th th this word says they wanted something to happen in their life. Not, 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 not like Herod, when Herod met Jesus and he just wanted to see a side show. No, 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 not, 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 not like King Agrippa. When he heard Paul preach about Jesus, he just wanted to hear about a man who can do. They weren't serious, but these lepers were sincere. They meant that when they met this man, Jesus, they meant that when they met Jesus, something would happen in their life. And it's too many people come to church and don't meet Jesus. Too many people sang in the choir and don't meet Jesus. Too many people pray a prayer, preach a sermon, but you don't come to meet Jesus. I don't care what else you do. It don't matter about who you see in church. You ought to come here to meet Jesus because when you meet him, they're going to be a they're going to be a change. He come to be a he come to make a change. In your life, there was a deliberate meeting, but look how they met him. They determined that when they met him, they gonna holler out. The text says they stood afar off, which says their physical sickness uh, restrained them from getting too close. They couldn't get socially distant. They had. Uh, leprosy and lepers had in the Levitical law they had restraints that they couldn't get within six feet of someone who was clean and when the wind was blowing they couldn't come within a hundred feet that y'all miss what I'm saying they, they, they had restraints where they couldn't get close they couldn't crawl through the crowd, like that woman with the issue of blood, who made a way to Jesus, touched the hem of his garment, and she was made whole. No, they were lepers. They, they couldn't sit at the dinner table with Jesus like the woman who didn't mind Jesus calling her dog while she waited on crumbs to fall from the table. They were lepers they were restrained they were in unable
to get in the presence of Jesus. But what they couldn't do, they, 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 what they could do, they did to the best of their ability. They cried out. Oh, you might can't do like somebody else, but you do like what you can. You might can't sing like somebody. You might can't sing like Silas. You might not preach or pray like Paul. But you ought to be able to cry out loud, Jesus. <laughs> Have mercy. Have mercy. Too many mimics in the church. Too many folk want to sound like somebody else. Be glad. God waits. He waits on you. Be glad. He called you for who you are. He knows who you are. He knows where you are. He knows what he needs from you. Don't be like a parrot. They were determined. I don't care what anybody else do. I'm going to get to Jesus. I don't care what you don't want me to do. I'm going to get to Jesus. I don't care. I come to tell you, we might be socially distant. And you might can't get here. But you ought to do the best you can while you're on Facebook. You ought to be determined that you're going to praise God if you got to be on conference call. You ought to be able to praise God uh, like you are participating even at your living room table. You, are, you ought to be able to participate deliberately because the pandemic shouldn't put a pause on your praise. God's been too good to you for you to sit quiet and still. Don't let the distance keep you from serving God. Don't let the few in the crowd keep you from praising God. It might not be a full church full of people, but I thank God as long as the Holy Spirit come in. Hey! He fills up. They were determined. They came to Jesus deliberate and determined. And then they were compelled by Jesus. This is what Jesus says. Go. Show yourselves to the priest. Go. Jesus, can't you just wave your hand over? Jesus, I know you can heal me by just a word. Jesus, why are you sending me this away and I haven't even been healed? Too many times we question the motives and the manners of our God. Because we don't understand. But this text tells us you must be dependent. In other words, you got to walk by faith and not by sight. Oh, tell your neighbor, you got to walk by faith and not by sight. You, you, you got to walk on even when you don't see what the end going to be. I, I, I don't know how we're going to do it. I I don't know when he going to do it. I just know he told me to go this way because he going to do it. We got to have more folk of faith that ready to walk by faith and not by sight. What is faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. By it, the elders received a good report. I wish I had a witness here. Through faith, we understand that the world were created by God. Uh, oh, 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 we got to walk by faith and burn down to verse number six, that Hebrew 11 chapter. Without faith, it is impossible to please God because they that come to him must believe that he is God. You got to walk by. Just take Jesus at his word, his word, in his word is the keys to joy. In his word is the keys to peace. In his word is the keys to strength in the time of storm. In his word, in his word, take him at his word. God has not ever come up short of his word. If he told you 
something hasn't he provided? Now I'm not talking about these fake prophets that's coming up talking about that this man going to be in the political position. I ain't talking about that. God ain't about all that politics. God is about God. We are in this, in this world. We are not of this world. We got to walk by faith. I know this pandemic got us looking bad. We scared. We are afraid to even go buy chicken. But I'm here to tell you, you got to walk by faith. You got to walk by faith and not by sight. Jesus said, just go. He didn't explain it. He didn't tell them anything. He just said, go. He said, you got to be dependent. And then I like the fact that the text says, as they went, they were healed. Somebody, somebody, somebody should have said hallelujah. <laughs> they were delivered because they obeyed. Can you believe that? Imagine them lepers with uh, pulsing nodules covering their body. Nodules that swole so large that when they burst, it was so odorous and so acidic that it ate through their clothes. The lepers were treated as dead man even while they were walking around. Lepers, where, when the disease would eat you from the inside out. Lepers. To such a degree that limbs would fall off without you even knowing it. Sitting there talking to somebody, get up and leave a hand behind you. They were lepers. Their clothing was rags because whatever they put on burned up and tore up and ripped up and had to always be replaced. They were lepers. Their skin was like scales. Rough. Like boils. It was lepers. The, the greatest thing could happen to a leper was when he died. They were lepers. They were excommunicated from Society. They, if they had a wife or a husband, they had to leave them at home and move to a colony of lepers. Lepers were kept on the outskirts of town because of their condition. And I, I, I can't leave that point without talking about the condition of sin because sin is just like leprosy. Sin will make you lose your husband and your wife. Sin will separate you from society. I wish I had some real folk in here. Sin will mess you up and make you smell odious. Sin. You think you're looking well, but you smell. And the leper, his voice was used to holler unclean. When he get around people, his conversation was unclean. Unclean. His warning was unclean. And here Jesus talking about, go show yourself. But as they went, their hoarse voices start clearing up. As they went, pussing nodules begin to sear shut. Hard nodules began to disappear. Rough skin that was scaly became clear as a baby. Brand new as they, with every step I see them walking, running, jogging, and then speeding up. You mean if I go faster, 
my, my, my skin going to return quicker. They ran. They moved. As they went, their skin. I'm here to tell somebody, day by day, you ought to look better. I wish I had a witness here. The, 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 the more you walk by faith, the better you start looking like a child of God. Tell your neighbor, walk on by faith. What, what I was on yesterday. Hallelujah. I ain't that no more. I'm new. I'm brand new. I'm renewing my faith. I'm getting renewed every day. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Is there a witness here? As they went. So brothers and sisters, as we go, we ought to anticipate looking better. As we go, as we move, as we move in life, we ought to anticipate. And then he said, go show yourself to the priest. He said, go show yourself to the priest. Now what Jesus was doing was sticking with the Levitical law. It didn't need to be changed. Stick with the Levitical law. What was so significant about the Levitical law was they had to bring an offering and present it to the preacher. They had to bring an offering for two occasions. For the first occasion, the offering was to bring them back into society so that they would be uh, cleansed ceremonially. Secondly, they were to be introduced back into their homes. So the first uh, sacrifice, they had to bring two clean birds. And the two clean birds they'd bring to the priest and the priest. He would kill one of the birds and then get the live bird and then dip it in the blood of the dead bird and then set the bird, the live bird free. He would tell the man to wash all of his clothes, wash all of his face, take all the hairs off his body, take his eyebrows, his hair. This was a sign of the new birth. You've been born again. The second uh, part, he was to bring two ewe lambs. Two lambs, two male lambs, and one ewe lamb. Two male lambs and one ewe lamb. He was to bring flour, oil, and a log of oil. Now, the, the, the two lambs, he would, the male lamb, he would kill one lamb. And then he would dip the living lamb in the blood of the dead lamb. This was a trespass offering, which says, even though I've been cleansed, I still sin. And then he would take the ewe lamb, and he would kill the ewe lamb and sacrifice it completely, which we know was Jesus. It was consumed totally on the altar. Do I have a witness here? And so what he was really doing was showing you and I today who Jesus is in our life. Anybody glad today that you don't have to bring two you lambs? Anybody glad today you don't have to bring two clean birds? Then you ought to be ready and willing to be included in one of the nine. Where are the nine? When the one man saw that he was healed, he saw skin looking good. He turned around and had to tell Jesus, thank you. I said he was, he had to commend Jesus. He had to commend Jesus. He had to first off separate himself. 
See, there's some folk you can't walk with. There's some folk you can't talk with. There's some folk you don't need in your crowd. In fact, the Bible says, come out from among them. See, negativity will spin your head around. Poison will infect you. I wish I had a witness here. He separated himself. He separated himself from his crowd. The ones he had hung out in when he was in sin. And brothers, your sinner partners still want to bring you back to sin. That sinner crowd still wants to sweep you up. He separated. And then when he came back, he shouted. I said, I said he shouted. I said he sh shouted. I'm disturbed when I see folks shout to get a blessing but won't shout afterwards. I get nervous of somebody who will pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, heal my body. But then won't shout, thank you, Lord. Where are the nine? The Lord look at the man and Jesus says, where are the nine? Were there not ten of you? I know I sent them to the priest. But Jesus' question of where are the nine suggests he has expectation from each individual that's received a blessing. He expected them to come back. When they see what I'm going to do with them, they're going to turn around and thank me. When he see what, when they see what, what I do with them, they're going to turn back. But oh, little to his surprise, Jesus says, where are the? Oh, brothers and sisters, he expects a response from you when he's blessed you. When he's favored you, he expects a thank, he expects a thank you, Lord. When he's rescued you from sorrow's valley, he expects a sign of appreciation. So Jesus said to the one that returned, I'm going to bless you again. He said, go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. Greek word suggests salvation. His body can be healed by 12 steps. His, his mind can be healed by just saying no. But to save a soul, got to have Jesus. I said Jesus told a man, thy faith has made you. And that's all I'm trying to tell somebody. When you learn how to thank God, he will bless you again. I notice with my parents, if I learn to say thank you, they'll give me a little more chicken. I wish I had a witness. When you learn how to just say thank you, children, you'll receive more from your old parents. Well, brothers and sisters, when we say thank you to God, we are assured of no blessing. God wants to bless you. And you got to be ready to receive your blessing. So open your mouth and tell the Lord, thank you. I realize if it had not been for you, God, I would have been lost. And in a world of sin, Lord, thank you. God, you've been good to me. Thank you. Can I get a witness here? If I was Chinese, I'd say, oh dear. If I was Greek, I'd say, Eucharisto. Hebrew, I'd say, Torah, Rabbi. 
Italian, I say gracias. Japanese, I say goma regatta. If I was French, I say merci beaucoup. As a German, I'd say donc chan. Spanish, I'd say muchos gracias. If I was a Kenyan, I'd say Ashante. If I was Nigerian, I'd say Ashe Bunga. <laughs> I wish I had a witness. But since I am a little country boy from Seaside, I've got to tell him thank you. Thank you, Lord, for another day's journey. I'm asking the question now where are the nine? Is there anybody here who is one of the nine who can say, God, I thank you for getting me off dope? Is there one of the nine here who can say, God, I thank you for pulling me off of alcohol? Is there one of the nine here who can say, God, I thank you for pulling me out of the muck and miry clay? Thank you for all of your blessings. I wish I had one witness who's not ashamed to tell God, thank you. Lift your voice and lift your hands and tell God, thank you for another day's journey. Should have been dead. I should have been in my grave. But uh, Lord, uh, Lord, I thank you. If you don't got nothing to thank you for, go to Calvary. If you ain't got nothing else to be glad about, think on Calvary. He didn't have to do it, but he did. He didn't have to die, but he did. He sacrificed his life that you and I might have a right to the tree of life. And since he died for you and I, we ought to tell him thank you. Oh, you ought to tell him thank you because they buried him. But then thank him because he didn't stay dead. Early Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand and long as he's on the throne, I can tell him thank you. Whatever I need, he supplies. Whatever I don't need, he ain't gonna let me have. Whatever's bothering me, he'll be right there. I wish I had somebody, a witness, who knows he's a doctor in a sick room. Tell him thank you. Lawyer in the courtroom, tell him thank you. Friend in trouble, thank you, Lord. Oh, I got so much to be thankful for. So much to be thankful. Look where he brought me from. You don't know like I know what the Lord has, what is done. You can't tell it like I can tell it. You weren't there. You don't know when or where. But oh, oh he been good. I said he's been good. He is. Woo! There's nobody that I can count on like Jesus. There's nobody I can call on like. There's nobody I can call on like. I love him. And I thank him that he loves me. Father, we thank you. Thank you for goodness and mercy. Thank you for grace. Thank you for love. Thank you for looking beyond our faults. As leprous as we were, yet you saved us, cleansed us, made us whole. Nobody but you, God. We deserve, you deserve all of our little old feeble praise. We deserve hell, but you deserve our praise. Thank you, Father, for just being who you are. Now touch your life right now that has not accepted you that's on the brink of destruction, that's ready to give up. We pray that you'll open their eyes to see they just in a leper's colony. They just wasting away. Their limbs are falling off. 
They are nodule. They are, they are odious. But oh God, let them know that you can change them right now. You can fix them right now. You can fix their situation. Whatever it may be. No matter how dark or how binding. Please touch them now. Save them now like only you can. And we know you can do it because you did it for us. We thank you right now, Master. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, amen, and amen. Will you bless God? Oh, I thank God. Thank God for this opportunity of a lifetime. Somebody can change their future while the church is standing. Somebody can change their destiny just by accepting this Christ Jesus. If you will acknowledge that you're a sinner, believe that he died for your sins, and confess him as your personal Lord and Savior, he will save you. He's just that good. And he just loves you. Fact about it, he loved you so much that he loves you while you were yet in sin. So his death was to set you free from death, but you got to accept him as your personal Lord and Savior. If you do that, please write us a letter. Uh, send it to our physical address, 1440 Broadway Avenue, Seaside, California, 93955. Or you can leave us a message on our landline, 831-394-2966. And we would love to express your victory and love to state your name to all the people of God. And we would love to welcome you into this body of baptized believers. It's a simple process, but you have to do it for yourself. Well, God bless you, and may God keep you, my brothers and my sisters. We are now ready for uh, the Lord's Supper. We are going to uh, read our church covenant. Say amen. amen. We're going to read our church covenant. Oh, what a good message. Thank you. No. Amen. Where are the nine? Where are you? God, God's been too good for you to be quiet, lazy, or silent, or negligent. Am I right about it? Church Covenant should be on your screen for you that are on Facebook. Everybody have one? God bless you. Having been led as we believe by the Spirit of God to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior. We do. Now, in the presence of God, angels, and this assembly, most solemnly and joyfully enter into covenant with one another as one body in Christ. To promote its prosperity and spirituality, to sustain its worship ordinances, Discipline and doctrines. To contribute cheerfully and regularly to the support of the ministry, the expenses of the church, the relief of the poor, and the spread of the gospel to all nations. We also engage to maintain family and secret devotions, to religiously educate our children, to seek the salvation of our kindred and acquaintances. To avoid or tattling back 
biting, and excessive anger. Come on. And to be zealous in our efforts to advance the kingdom of our Savior. We further engage to watch over one another in brotherly love. To remember each other in prayer, to aid each other in sickness and distress, to cultivate Christian sympathy and feeling and courtesy in speech. To be slow, to take offense, but always ready for reconciliation. And mindful of the rules of our Savior to secure it without delay. We moreover engage that when we remove from this place, we will, as soon as possible, unite with some other church where we can carry out the spirit of this covenant and the principles of God's word. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity to celebrate and commemorate your death, burial, and resurrection. Thank you that we've taken this for 12 months, for every first Sunday. Father, we give you the glory because truly it's been a rough, rough year. But we thank you for allowing us to take part in this because it reminds us that this place ain't home. Keep our minds afresh with the idea, oh God, that heaven is ours. Forgive us of all of our many sins. Allow us to take part in this without incurring the curse. And we'll give you glory and honor. And we believe it is done now because you're God of mercy. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Scripture be read, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, starting at verse 23. And it reads, For I have received of the Lord, which I also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body of the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself. And so let him eat that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many are asleep. For if we are, would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye may come to Come not together unto condemnation, and the rest will I set in order when I come. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you this afternoon in the name of Jesus. Ask you, Lord, forgive us of our many sins. We thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to come and observe one of your ordinances that you left with us, Lord. The ordinance of the Lord's Supper. Lord, we thank you for the body 
that was broken, that was bruised, Lord. Lord. And Lord, that's, thank you for your love, Lord. You. That you will let your son go through such things mm. just for my sins, Lord. Mama. Lord, you love me enough to see your son suffer on the cross, Lord. Bless that body, Lord, that was beaten, bruised, Lord, and eventually died and laid in the grave, Lord. But, Lord, we thank you for that third day when he arose yes. with all power in his hand, Lord. And, Lord, that body still lives on today, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us just to be here within your presence, Lord. Because without that body being sacrificed, we wouldn't be here tonight right now, Lord. Lord, for that we say thank you. We we'll give you a thousand, a thousand tongues, Lord. It's just not enough to say thank you. Lord, we just love you and we bless your name on today, Lord. Lord, we'll be careful to give you the, uh, the praises that your Lord, that you so richly deserve. So in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Our Father and our God, we come once again, Father God, because you let another 30 days pass us on by. And we come on this day, Lord God, on this first Sunday, this last first Sunday in the year 2020, Father God. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us this opportunity to, to celebrate one of your ordinances, Father God, the Lord's Supper. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, asking right now that you would please forgive us of all of our many sins and our many transgressions, Father God, before we partake in this, Father God. Pray that we will search our hearts and we will search our minds, that we won't take this unworthy, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for sending your son down through 42 generations, Father God. They beat him real bad, Father God. They beat him real bad, Lord God. It should have been my whooping, but Father God, I thank you sent the perfect sacrifice in Jesus. Lord God, they beat him so bad, Lord God, blood come just streaming everywhere, Father God. And we thank you for the blood, for without the blood, there's no remissions of sins, Father God. Yes. Your, his blood, Lord God, is, 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 is my direction, Father God, to make it to glory. Thank we thank you for this blood that we are about to partake, this fruit of the cup. Amen. We realize it's only the fruit, Father God, yes. but we know that his blood was real, Father God. Yes, we thank you right now. In the blessed name of yes. Jesus, the one who died but yet still lives, it's in his name we tell you, thank you, thank you, thank you and amen. on the cross, I know, I know, was blood for me, oh, he's gone, but he's coming again, thank you, Lord, he's gone, but he's coming again, oh, he's gone, but he's coming again, for One day when I oh he died upon the cross mm -hmm. I know it was blood come on put your hands together put your hands together it is our prayer that we'll have the Lord's Supper one more time this year 
We'll do it on watch meeting night. So we'll be able to get it out again. And we'll start watch meeting light, night around 11, 11, 15, 11, 30. So we won't have to have bodies here. But we want to have a, a close of the year's a, a watch meeting night. All right? All right? Uh, amen. Reverend Dom's going to close us out. Thank you so much for your prayers and your patience. Continue to pray for all of the church family. And we'll see you on Tuesday night at our mission and brotherhood. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we're grateful. Lord, you brought us from a mighty long way. You haven't taken our life, Lord God. You kept us, and thank you, Lord, for saving us. We love you and we praise your name. Thank you, Lord, for allowing our pastor to preach. Thank you, Lord, for putting your word in him. Please, Lord, bless we, your children. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with his exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Father, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Let us all sing. Oh, oh, man. Go with God and go in peace. God bless you. God keep you. Thank you.